Leafy, Leafy, Leafy. What kind of name is Leafy? <laughs> Sounds like some guy who is obsessed with leaves. I need to get Stormy on the next Bad Jokes video because that, 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 uh, <laughs> that was something else. Squeezy, Squeezy, Squeezy. What kind of name is Squeezy? Sounds like some guy who is obsessed with sponges. Actually, I should have said Squeegee. But is, is there a YouTuber called Squeegee? I may call myself Squeegee now, fuck it. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Squeegee. Nah. <laughs> nope. Yes, I love the darkness. And that's because you fuck with me, I will be your biggest nightmare. When you're sleeping, I will be there. When you're eating, I will be there. When you're taking a shower, I will be there. I have to hand it to Stormy, like... I, I, would, I don't want to be dreaming of Stormy. I don't want to be in the shower cleaning my ass and then when I turn around to turn the water back on Stormy is standing there staring me in the face. I'd probably... I'd, that, I'd, I would probably shit myself. A good example of a pedophile is Leafy. Yes, Leafy is a pedophile. And I have enough evidence. If you look at his videos, all he talks about is Crazy kids, psycho kids, damn, they're the biggest vaginas I've ever seen in my life. Their vagina is so big, huh, that it could cover this whole universe. Bruh, he did, he did not, he did not just say that. This man did not just say that. What? If you're looking for the king of roasts, I mean, look no further. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what's going on guys, uh, Davey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some videos from a channel called Clunatic Dinner Style. Uh, it's run by a, by a guy called Stormy D. What's up guys, my name is Stormy D. And this is actually a weird one for me, because when I did my 3000 subs Q&A uh, a few years ago, back when my channel was still popping, I actually listed Stormy D as amongst the best Kenyan YouTubers from one of the questions I got from one of my subs. Who is your favorite Kenyan YouTuber apart from you? And who do you think makes the best videos? There's a couple of good Kenyan YouTubers, to be honest. Not many people know about them. Uh, Stormedy, who I think lives in the USA or Canada or something like that, but he, uh, nevertheless, he's Kenyan and he's got more than 60,000 subscribers. After making that video, I sort of looked at the individual videos and saw that he was really struggling with views. And he was getting a lot of like negative comments on his videos. He was making like these sort of basic like YouTube comedy videos, pranks, or like these fake videos where like he's faking being deported from the US because he called Donald Trump. The immigration is here, man. The immigration is here. They're not. They're not. They're not. I'm, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Here, to bait some more clicks, he even came up with some fake beefs. He uh, started fake beefs with people like Quite Cynical, uh, Leafy is here, and even uh, faked getting beaten up by Deji and KSI. Of late, he switched to ASMR content. If you don't know what ASMR is, it means Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It's defined on Wikipedia as an experience characterized by a static like or tingling sensation on the skin that typically begins on the scalp and moves down to the back of the neck and the upper spine. So ASMR is supposed to be like a positive feeling, a feeling that makes you like calm down. But if you're the sort of person who finds comfort in watching someone eat their granny for lunch, uh, then I, I, I don't know what to say to you. You need help. Go and see a therapist. I, I, I don't know what, what more I can say to you at this point. Personally, I've never really gotten the appeal of ASMR content. A lot of it is like watching someone like pretend to tuck you into bed or like listen to sounds of someone like performing like a, a dental surgery like this is these really random and weird sort of situations and where you get to hear like every single sound but i guess there's a lot of different sort of stuff that people are into these days we're gonna check out some of uh stormy these asmr videos and we're gonna see what this is all about so. what's up guys my name is steve and most of you guys know me as Tamini. So this morning, I woke up 
made myself some coffee and stuff like that, and then I came over here, decided to watch TV. But first, I wanted to stretch, okay? For a minute, I thought it was Jackie Chan. So I was like, ha, 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 like that. So throwing your limbs around and reenacting fight scenes from Chinese martial arts movies like Jackie Chan is stretching. Did, did, did I, was I learning the wrong thing in school? So if I want to stretch my hamstrings, all I have to do is kick my TV. I honestly, I didn't, I never thought about that. That's, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Stormy. Thank you. And then I tripped on the cat. And then when I tripped on the cat, I ran into my TV. And then that's the after effect. I'm just... <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just have this image of my head of this guy like launching himself <laughs> into the TV. <laughs> he just thinks he's like Craig Mordek from Tekken and launches himself into the TV. <laughs> Two years ago, I made a video teaching you guys of how you can repair a cracked TV screen. Most of you guys didn't like my tutorial because it, it did not work for some of you guys and stuff like that. So before you watch this video, I want to let you know guys that this method will not work for everybody. It depends on how your TV is damaged. You know, I had my hopes up. I was gonna test this method on my monitor. I was gonna like launch my phone into my monitor today and test this guy's repairing method. But now that he's given that warning, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna smash my monitor. I already know what's the problem with my TV. This is a 65 inch TV. Look at that, it's almost the same size as me. So basically what you're gonna need is paper towel and uh, some uh, Jamex, that, okay, sanitizer. What we're trying to do right now is to crane the screen and stuff like that. And if there's uh, cracks on it and stuff like that, this is gonna go through and repair it, okay? Step one, wipe down TV with sanitizer. All right, keep going. Well, that did not work. Wait. That's it? I thought it was gonna follow up with like, wait for 10 minutes for the sanitizer to soak in and cover up the cracks or some shit like that but like apparently it's supposed to be like wiping your ass after going to the toilet but listen he's this this man here is the expert okay we're gonna let him carry on clearly that didn't work but he has another he has another way the second method that i'm about to show you guys is try to push this on the sides because sometimes it might have got loose and then give the effect of a broken tv and it's not actually broken okay Okay, so step two was to gently press the corners of the TV as you would with a zit on your face. Uh, but that didn't work either. As a person who's desperately in need for tips uh, for repairing a broken TV, this uh, is not going well. Reviews are coming in stormy and they're not good. You need to redeem yourself now. This, this, is, this is going down here. This is going down here now. So the last method that I'm about to show you is called the tapping method, okay? What you have to do is just tap your TV a little bit and stuff like that because like I said sometimes sometimes it's not even ruined the thing on the back the white thing on the back is a little loose and stuff like that or bend a little bit and when you tap it it's gonna go back on place and uh, it's gonna go back in place and it's gonna work step three discipline your TV Just tap like keep tapping like that all the way around the TV and stuff like that all the way down to the TV and then once you have finished doing that and then once you have finished doing that uh, turn off your TV okay I turned it off turn it on this TV always takes forever to turn on I don't know why okay it's coming on now okay yeah. Okay, now I'm fucking curious. Like, all jokes aside, there were no cuts in that little scene. How the fuck did he do that? The screen isn't broken or cracked, it's just a wallpaper. Of course. I actually, I feel, I feel so stupid. 
This is undeniably a low point in my life, but we shall move on. We shall rise again from this and move on. What's up guys? My name is Tomari. Today, I'm gonna be showing you my PS5. Yeah, my PS5 came with this. It's a controller. Hold on. The funny thing is the PS5 controllers still look like the PS4 and they light up the same. I guess it's just like the way the PS2 and the PS3 controllers are almost like the same. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Wait. See? PS. Okay. PS5 looks just like PS4, which is so weird. Okay, look. Like, over there. This guy really does not put any effort whatsoever. This man has picked up a PS4 and put his finger over the 4. You're trying to convince us that that's a PS5? Really? Right guys, so uh, I got uh, myself an early copy of FIFA 20 from EA Sports. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you right now. This is so crazy. I mean, look at this. Look at this right there. I, you know, this this is FIFA 20 for the PS5. Uh, I don't know if you can see there. FIFA 20 says right there. Uh, it still has Messi on the cover, which is kind of like FIFA 13, uh, which is so fucking weird. But yeah. I don't know man, he could have worked with some like graphic designer to come up with a fake UI that he could have used for your video at the very like zero effort has been put into this video. Zero. I don't even want to finish this. Honestly, the only difference between a PS5 and a PS4 is that with a PS5, it got better quality and stuff like that. Also, you can get PlayStation Now for free. It comes with it. So basically, it comes with a lot of features for free. That's the only thing. But it's also expensive. I think it's a thousand dollars on eBay and stuff like that. Listen, Stormy is a credible source. He's taught us how to fix a broken TV. He's showed us uh, the new features for the PS5 well ahead of time i mean one thousand dollars on ebay pfft, it's not a lot of money so that means if i'm lucky i could get like a brand new wireless uh, charger for my ps5 controllers for four thousand shillings on olx i've just realized this whole video i haven't actually seen any asmr videos yet so let's actually do what we came here to do Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Drinking Water ASMR. That's gonna be it for this video guys unfortunately the video i recorded for the last bit of this video uh, got corrupted i still have the audio and the desktop uh, display capture but the face cam that i recorded got completely corrupted it's a shame uh, because i had some good jokes in there as well but uh, it is what it is sometimes these things happen when you try and make videos and uh, you just have to deal with it <laughs> in any case if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like down below uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of this face, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by clicking on that bell uh, so you never miss an upload from me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.